So January 25th, actually school started a little late this morning. We did have a layer of ice on the roads, um, that kind of thing. So they did a two hour delay. Uh, yesterday we did have some people out ice fishing yet, but as you can see, the boat landing's uh, dead today. And uh, we're supposed to have rain this afternoon. Just unreal, the winter we're having. And just wanted to kind of address, you know, living in the Northwoods here, if you take a look at uh, our our older car here, we park outside, and I alluded to this a little bit in the previous video, but what I will do there is I will take that broom right there, and I'm just going to push the windshield off. Now, I am too short to get the snow off of the roof on this car. So what I find works, and please don't do this at home. I do not recommend to do this at home. I do not in any legal way support doing this at home, okay? That should cover the legal parameters on things. Um, but what I find on the back roads here is if you hit about 70 miles an hour, you pretty much clean, you know, the snow off. Um, after it sits like this, if you can get at it right away after it snows, you don't pro, you don't have to cover that much speed, but um, you know the other day I had left it on my truck a little bit and I actually had to get it up to about 80 miles an hour and that cleans it off just as nice as could be. Um, hopefully you realize I'm kind of doing this in jest, but uh, I, I, yeah. So you know I mean I'm going to take that broom, push it off the windshield, and. There are those that would say, yes, you can scratch the paint with a broom. Um, the This car has got almost 190,000 miles on it. And as you can see, there are no scratches on the paint on this thing. This, this is a Ford Flex. And this thing has been absolutely bulletproof for us. It gives us a lot of room. We just love this car. I wish Ford would have kept making it. We would have kept buying them. Uh, now we have a, a Subaru... Uh, a scent and um you know it's an it's a nice car uh my wife definitely s still this is near and dear to her heart but anyway so you know being in the north woods that's another way that we take care of snow around here um uh, another thing, I almost forgot about that. Oh, I got to share this with you. You're going to, you know, two is you're going uh, down the road and after you've warmed the car up a little bit and you get some heat on that hood, uh, that kind of creates, it starts to melt the snow from, of course, on the bottom. And if you're on the road and you, you, you know, and there again, you got to make sure there's no one around you and and uh, once again, I do not support this in any way, shape, or form, but it is just a fact is if you jam the brakes on sometimes, that momentum carries the snow right off the front of the hood and right off the roof. I mean, you can, you know, it comes down to Newton's Law up here in northern Wisconsin. Um, uh, two, two of the rules really apply. What's in motion tends to stay in motion, right? So that kind of cleans the snow off. The other thing when we drive on on slippery roads is you don't want to hit the brakes. Um, you got to slow down nice and gently. Uh, try to stay off the brakes as much as you can on icy roads, and you're going to be okay. Ish, okay, ish, okay. Um, this road this morning. Uh, was a bit slick. I took the dogs for a walk, but I, I went into town already and put some salt down around our our uh, rental in town, and so that's all taken care of. And the other Newton rule rule that applies here is kind of things going in a straight line tend to continue in a straight line, so momentum, you know, carries just continues to carry you. Uh, there again, when you come to the corners, you got to make sure you're going slow enough that you uh, don't tend to keep going in a straight line. Just just some really important pointers for today. <laughs> if you like and subscribe my BS or like my BS, like and subscribe uh, to my site. 
and I will continue to give you all this great knowledge uh, of the projects that I do and living in the Northwoods. Um, till the next one, take care.